Okay, so first of all, this is the document that I have been working on in the previous videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make cross references in Word. So I'm going to go to references and then cross reference. And then I'm going to select figure and I'm going to select only label and number and then insert and close. And you can see it has inserted the label figure one. And if I hold down control and click on it, it will take me to figure one in the document. And I can also put this in brackets if I want to, or I can manually edit this to say fig.1. And then if I hold down control and click on it, it will still take me to figure one in the document. So I can change this to say whatever I want. Now, another way of doing this is to go to insert and select cross reference here instead. And then there are a number of other options for the reference type and also for the text to insert. I'm just going to show a couple more examples of this. So if I select above slash below and then insert and close, you can see here it has inserted the word below for me. And that's because at the moment my figure is below this text in the document. If it were above this text in the document, it would say the word above. Now also, if I scroll down here and highlight this word and then select bookmark, I can type in the word origins and then add and now I have created a bookmark and if I scroll back up here and then go to cross reference and then select bookmark you can see the bookmark that I just created and I can now reference to this as well so if I select page number and then insert it will insert the number three for me because that's the page that the bookmark is on I can also insert bookmark text if I want and it's inserting the word the because that is what I was highlighting when I created the bookmark. It's not inserting the name of the bookmark which is origins and then if I close this and undo that I can put in here just page number and then if I control and click on this it will take me to that bookmark in the document. And finally, if any of these numbers change in the future, I can just select them and right click and say update field and they will automatically change for me. Okay, and that is it.